Hello YouTube um good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. It is eleven fifty for us right now. Carolyn's gonna take a nap in a second, but um I just wanna show you she does. My naked baby. Can you say hello? Look at this are so red around her eyes. So um she drew today. I will I will insert that in the video at the end. Um, at the end of my video, but, um, so, we have, we are in a little bit of a predicament today. Um, we had a therapist, I'm not gonna say which one, because we have many, <laughs> we had like three or four, uh, I'm not gonna say which one, but we had a therapist that got tested positive we're predicting from COVID. I did ask her if she could um, tell me if her test came back positive and she said, I don't think I should disclose that information or I don't think I can disclose that information or something. So in other words, she probably got tested positive for it. Um, so, um, me and Trent are going to go pick up free tests today um, with the saliva test, and then Tr Carolyn's going to get tested as well. Um, she is actually going to test it after us, a day after us, so we're going to go pick it up today, and we're going to go get that, and then she will get tested tomorrow. Um, so, that's what's happening today. Um, I have to go to McKady Hospital, um, because her doctor, her doctor office, I called today, and they said, well, they can't give her a test unless she's, um, unless she has gotten sent home from school because she's been in, unless she's been in direct, con I can't speak today, guys, direct contact <laughs> with somebody or she's developing symptoms. Well, she's not in school, so she didn't get sent home. And, but she has been in direct contact with somebody and she doesn't have any symptoms. So I told T, I was my husband, I said, T, um, they said that she, they can't do a test unless she's been in, um, unless she's been home from school. I'm sent home from school because she's in direct contact. Yeah, contact. Or, um, or she's developing symptoms and she's not developing any symptoms right now. And he was, she was like, he's like, okay, why does it matter? Because she's been in direct contact with the therapist. And I'm like, I don't know. And they said no. So he called back and he's like, okay. He's like, hey, listen, um, my wife called a little bit ago about getting COVID for our daughter. Um, some things have been left out that might make a difference on whether you test her or not. Uh, she's ventilated, she has a trach, and we have to get her tested before she does, before she, um, before she develops symptoms. Because by the time she develops symptoms, it might be too late. Because they had told us if she did get COVID, she has a 20% chance of living. Um, so he said, I just wanted to let you guys know that, like, she needs to get tested. And he's like, she's like, well, I can send you some uh, websites and stuff that she can get tested at without having symptoms. And um, he's like, okay, well, the reason why we called you is because she can't, those those websites don't make any sense because um, the websites you're going to send me are just testing, testing um, facilities that we can go to, but they all do saliva testing because we've already checked out all the ones that are testing centers and they only give spit um they only get they only get like saliva testing they don't do like nose or um or mouth testing um uh, why be they sometimes like i know when we went to a hospital to get her tested before they put a mouth swab in her instead of a nose swab 
um, because her nose was so tiny and all they had was adult ones, so they put it in her mouth. But anyways, um, so there are a couple places I know that do do it that, and I know they have done her before, but they've only done them. One was a, was a, um, was a certain circumstance. Um, she didn't have COVID. We all know she didn't have COVID, but she needed to get tested for a, um, a, uh, doctor's appointment. She was going to a sleep study and I had to run all around and figure out, cause I had totally forgot. Like, well, I didn't forget. They didn't tell me until the day before, like, Hey, just make sure that she had a COVID testing, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, she, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? So yeah, uh, that was really, yeah, that was kind of not what I was expecting, but I, I was like, oh, and her, her appointment was like the next day. And I was like, oh my gosh, we need to get her COVID test because, and we need to get a rapid test too because it's goes tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we ended up finding a place. I think it was, Og I think it was Martha Ogden Clinic, I think. But it was like a special circumstance where they were like, oh yeah, we could just do it like right away. Like, if you know, she doesn't have COVID. And I was like, no, she doesn't have any symptoms. She's not, doesn't have COVID. She just got tested like four days ago, like for a different appointment. So, yeah. So anyways, um, so yeah, so she got, she had gotten tested. They just came out, did her nose swab and was good to go. Um, and their one was at Layton where they were like, oh, you didn't know you needed the COVID test? And I'm like, no, we didn't know. So they did a COVID test at Layton, um, the extension of Primary Shields Hospital. And, um, they had an ASAP and they got it back within like three or four hours. And they said, no, there's no, there's nothing there. So, and I, I don't think, the rapid test takes more than four hours, but they put an X-Speed ASAP on it because we were already there and we, we had to get the um, thing. So, I was like, well, do you mind if we, like, go get lunch and come back? And they were like, sure. So, we did. We went and got lunch. We came back. Um, we, Carolyn was sitting there watching Spongebob and we were playing with some toys and stuff and all of a sudden I came back and... They were like, yeah, there's nothing on there. Although they have to wait a couple, like, couple minutes to see if anything grows on the thing. So I think they kind of are just like, it's fine. <laughs> You're fine. But anyways, so, um, I'm not sure exactly how that, how that, that's exactly how that works. But I know with most of the cultures that people take, they have, like, they have to wait and see if anything grows. So I'm pretty sure that's kind of how, well, not pretty sure, but I'm. I think that's how the COVID strand works. I'm not sure. But anyways. So, um, so now we have to get a COVID test for her. But the girl was like, oh, well, I didn't understand. I didn't know that she was like trach and blah, 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 blah. And she's like, well, I don't know if any but a doctors will take her. Has she been seen here before? And we're like, yeah, Zane Williams loves our daughter. He wishes she was his. <laughs> um he's super nice um probably shouldn't be saying his name but he's super nice and he um he picks her up and you know kind of bounces her while he's talking to me like you know he just he like he loves her and he acts like he's you know she's family so it's kind of nice but anyways he's super super sweet and everything like that but anyways um, you know, and he always is like, how are you doing? How are you doing, mom? You know, <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. Um, but yeah, he's super nice. He's great. He's a great doctor for key and whatnot. But anyways, um, she's like, well, I'll send a note to him to see if he's okay with her getting one without her having symptoms. It's like, okay. And she's like, and I explained, we all, my, me and um, T both explained to her, what the circumstance was on how, you know, her therapist comes in the home, tests positive for COVID, she doesn't wear a mask when she's in the home, blah, 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 blah. Um, most of our therapists don't wear masks in our house because they're in, the mask mandate has been lifted um, besides hospitals and other things. They do wear a mask if they have seen a kid and the kid it was sick or whatever, then they would wear a mask. Um... Allie, or, well, not her, but, I mean, like, 
other therapists, like, I mean, I know that, like, the speech therapist doesn't wear a mask because she has to see the mouth to go. But, like, other therapists, sometimes they wear masks, sometimes they don't. Or they'll ask me, like, do you mind if I don't wear a mask? Or would you like me to wear a mask? Like, some of the therapists do do that. Um, Shriners always wear masks. They have to. It's mandatory. Um... And then the early intervention, she always asks me, hey, would you like me to wear a mask? Or are you okay if I don't? Uh, you know, she's like, I'm fully vaccinated. You know, like, they, they always they always tell me if they're vaccinated or not, usually. And there are a couple that didn't say if they're vaccinated or not, but they would ask me if I want them to wear a mask or not. And during COVID, I was like, absolutely. And then when the mask mandate was lifted, I was like, eh, if you're vaccinated, that's fine. You don't have to. But, you know. Anyways. So, um... So this girl doesn't, so this, all her therapists are girls, but this particular therapist um, doesn't stop wearing a mask after COVID was not done, but when the hospitals weren't going, Delta wasn't a variant, and so she stopped wearing a mask, which I was totally okay with. Because I was like, well, maybe she's not vaccinated. I just assumed everybody was vaccinated. If you're at a facility and you're working at a facility, obviously you might be getting vaccinated. Don't know. Look at her. She's so cute. You playing with your book, Key? I think she's looking at the TV and her book at the same time. And Jelly. She's so cute. Uh, anyways, so... They may or may not be vaccinated. I don't know. But anyways, I thought just that like if you're, if you're working at a facility, you might get vaccinated or might need to be vaccinated. I don't know. Anyways, that's not the point. She's getting, <laughs> she will be getting tested tomorrow. Um, because, um, he'll probably get a back test at the end of the day, but he'll probably squeeze her in tomorrow, I'm assuming. If not today. It might be today. I don't know. I don't think he will squeeze her in today, but, um possibly tomorrow so uh i mean i'll let you guys know um you know by the end of the day maybe maybe i don't i don't um i don't film tomorrow so but anyways that's the end if you're new hi my name is martina this is carolyn right there right there <laughs> um if you're new, please subscribe, like this video, also click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well while you're there. Um, like this video, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks, bye! I'm getting the concept, but she's not putting it on here. You have to put it on here for it to draw. No, she wants to draw on her. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Pooper scooper. I got it. <laughs> Key is trying to draw. <clears throat> okay, put it on here and go ahead. Are you drawing? Yay, she made that little scoop right there. Keep drawing. Yay! You're trolling! Hello YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching this. It is 5.19 for us right now. My hair is looking so bad. I washed it last night. I blow dried it and everything and then it turned out like this. Isn't that weird? How like you're, I don't know. Looked really good yesterday, and then today it doesn't look good. Um, here's Key. She's having a hard time. Her teeth furs are bothering her, and she's tired. So, what are you gonna do, huh, Key? Hey, what are you gonna to do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Is she not the cutest, you guys? Oh, so good, oh, babies. My poor baby. I feel so bad for her because I know that her teeth are bothering her. 
Anyways. If you have any suggestions on how to soothe baby's teeth or gums or whatever, please comment. I will... I definitely appreciate it. The, um, I will definitely appreciate the advice. Hold on one second. Trent just got home. Okay. Well, he's not coming in yet. But anyways. So, um... There he goes. So we had, um, the feeding test, whatever you want to call it, today. And it did not go as well as I thought it was going to go. Um, Carolyn, a long time ago, long time ago, um, when we lived in Lima, hey, oh, that's not dangerous at all. when we lived in Lima, um, this one looks great. she, thank you, she, uh, <laughs> sorry, she was really good with, like, eating applesauce and just applesauce. Applesauce, she was totally fine with it today no and i think i think a partly it was partially because it was um why is her face getting run hold on one second so like i said like i was saying anyways um like i was saying so i think it was just because she was uh she was it was her nap time and i think she was just tired because she was throwing a fit and was trying to go to sleep. Like, her eyes were just like... You know what I mean? So... That's what I think happened. But... Um, we are going to be going and seeing them every two weeks. And we're going to be working up from there. Um, so... Um, they gave me some papers on different things to try. And... Um, and that'd be, that'd be good. So. But that'll be good. So we're going to be doing that. Um, next week we literally right now have nothing going on. I actually have to call Shriners tomorrow and schedule something on Wednesday. One twice second because we literally have nothing else going on next week. See you. That is about it. Daddy's going to spend some time with Carolyn and make her happy. Because she was not happy today. So, anyways. We'll talk to you guys later. If you are new, my name is Martina. That's Carolyn T. And if you are also, if you are new, <laughs> subscribe. Uh, click that notification bell. Like this video and we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.